right, success on a simple little tiny project. So it had been bugging me that I've gone through so many uh, uh, PTFE insulators and it's just always a pain to create them and I've made it easier. But one of the things that was always kind of bugging me is the imprecision of finding the center on a dowel. Now I'm sure this is well known to all carpentry people and they've got a solution and as a matter of fact that's kind of how I found out about at least one of these ideas. Uh, I was driving to jury duty and uh, got there and was waiting in the parking lot for a while so I started googling on how people find the center of a dowel which I'm like there's got to be a simple solution. And the best answer I got was to create a little jig for it. And I think I've made one that works a little bit too well. So, um, so I probably just posted above this uh, pictures of the wood and I was cutting it. Basically it took just a hunk of random wood and I put it in there in my vise and I took a 1 8 inch bit and I drilled a hole and went all the way through the wood okay and then but I drilled it from the other side but I'm not going to turn over because this is the suspense so then I got I happen to have this uh, 5 8 inch Forrester bit and I say happen to have because I think I bought it specifically for this task um, but I love adding tools and, and uh, accessories to tools. So, all right. So, anyways, so what I did was then I bolted this down, and I centered that directly over the hole. And it is, if you look at the forest a bit, there's a tiny little bit in the center there. So that was easy to center. And then I drilled down almost all the way. So I have that, and it's got a hole at the end. But it's so I can basically put the 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 uh, insulator in there, and then just take my all go through and mark the center, right? So the reason I say it worked probably too well is because when I finally go to put this in, it's exactly five eighths. I get it in there, and then it was tough to get out, so I ended up having to use a vice and I you know what I think I just probably put it in too far but here I'll center it I'll mark center there is center there and uh, look at that there's a little mark in there and once I'm able to pull this out with this soft vice here which I'm not going to try on camera I have a nice centered marked dowel ready to drill to become yet another one of these things will be destroyed by PLA or whatever. Alright, Jeff's tip of the day for those of us, I don't mind giving these these simple little word working tips because even though everyone else is supposed to know them, I didn't know them and most of the people making rep wraps that I've talked to, the software engineers, we don't really have terrible amounts of skills with a bunch of these tools. I'm building mine up and this simple little thing is my tip of the day.